Yeah. Oh, whoa. <sighs> What's up, guys? Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Quarantine. I have been either super productive or not productive at all. But there's no in between anymore. I'm looking outside and I'm seeing the world at a standstill. I guess my brain is like, Dan, nobody's doing anything, so you don't technically have to as well. Bad way to think. Especially because I do social media for a living where like a lot of people are consuming right now. Like mentally, I'm trying not to like beat myself up over it, you know? Oh my God, a wild wiener dog is behind me right now. Hi, Charlie. You're cute. Okay, we'll talk later. <laughs> all in all, quarantine, I'm ready for it to be done. I just wanna freaking hug my friends, you know? Ah! Ah! Okay, let's get to this video. Let me sit properly. Why am I making this video? What I've decided is the next five days I will have an upload every single day and every video will be teaching you a trick. So yes, there's today's video and there's gonna be five more consecutive videos day after day. This video takes us nine years ago. I was living in London, Ontario. I was living in a residence by myself. I started feeling this weird icky feeling. I hate that I use the word icky by the way. I sound like a supply teacher. This weird feeling in my head. Not, well, in my state of mind. And I didn't know what it was. I was confused. I was like, what's going on? What does this mean? Why am I feeling sad. In that same period of time, there was one night where I woke up in the middle of the night. Heart was pounding incredibly fast and I was just filled with panic and fear. And when people ask, like so many people ask what an anxiety attack is like or a panic attack, it's, it's sort of hard to explain. Partially because it's different for everybody, but for me in that moment, it was like, like just scared that I'm going to die, that something awful is going to be happening. And then on top of all that, it was just loneliness was like, the icing on the cake. So it was a very bizarre feeling. I don't know. That's kind of what it was like, you know? And I went to the hospital because I thought I was dying. Three in the morning. So I was at the hospital till probably about seven in the morning. I just kind of like laid there and they kind of, they did like whatever tests. But the doctor knew early on that it was just an anxiety attack, right? So later that night, around dinner time, it happened again. And my heart started pounding and my girlfriend at the time uh, called an ambulance for me. It's embarrassing to go back to this moment because looking at it now, I didn't need an ambulance, but at the time, oh my God, like I thought I was dying. It was so intense. It was so consuming of my body. I don't know. So I went back to the hospital. Weeks after that, I was so confused as to what was going on with my life. It was like, why? I don't really have a reason to feel this way. You know, like I just looked at my life and I, I guess I compared it to other people's lives. I'm like, there's people out there that have it way harder than you, Dan. You have no right to be feeling down or sad. That's where I first learned really about mental health. You don't need a reason. It just affects us all in different ways. Every single night I was just, I was just sad. I was confused and I was super scared. So I went on YouTube and I searched up panic attack or anxiety or something like that. And Zoella came up. I've, I've, again, I've shared this part of the story. So I watched the video and it was so comforting in that moment to see a big YouTuber share in detail what it's like for her. And I remember sitting there thinking, this is exactly what I got going on. And the loneliness took a massive hit because it was like, I'm no longer that lonely because this YouTuber in the UK has it. Zoella doesn't even know I exist. Zoella doesn't even know that that video helped me so much that I wanted to do the same. So year, I think a few years went by and I never opened up about anxiety. Hiding it was like, no, 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 I don't have it. I don't want to tell my friends I have this. And I very much viewed it as a weakness at the time. I think until it came back a few years later, I saw a therapist in Dallas. And I remember thinking, what helps me is getting things out, not holding on to the feelings inside. And I only saw this guy once a month. I remember thinking, you know, maybe I should try to do a video where I could mask it. So it's not necessarily about me, but I could give anxiety tips. Let's just maybe open up and say we have anxiety. <gasps> and it was scary. Oh my God, it was scary. I didn't know how it was gonna be received. I thought people were gonna think I'm broken, I'm weak. Uh, I've lost my mind, whatever. Total opposite happened. It was well received. There's people out there that are struggling just like you were and you've now exposed yourself and now people are kind of latching on and it's helping them. Which brings me to my point. Well, last night, you know, in this quarantine, I'm having good days and I'm having like boring days. And yesterday was very much a boring day. I got nothing done. So I decided shortly after 10 p.m., I'm gonna go live on Instagram just so I kind of did something. Pretty casual thing. I just chatted it for a bit, talked about YouTube, talked about what I've been doing. And somebody had said, 
go live with some fans. Whether or not you like the term fans, that's just I'm just quoting what was written there. I had I had like requests in the bottom, and I've never really gone live with someone other than my brother. So I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just try it. So I clicked this uh, this one name, and I'm gonna show you this moment. But before I do, the whole idea was I was gonna go live with someone. This moment you're about to see is nine years in the making. It finally came full circle, which is why I'm making a video about this. I didn't expect it, came out of nowhere, totally changed my day around completely. What you're about to see was my Zoella moment, but being returned from somebody that watches my stuff. Here it is. Something out. Go live with fans. Oh, oh, there's requests. Maybe should I, should I go live with someone? Oh my God. Yo. Hey, what's up, Dan? It's, oh, that accent! This, you're from Ireland. Yes, I'm from Ireland. Yes, what's up? What, what time is it there? It, it's currently like three in the morning. Yo, man, Sick. I you don't understand. Like, I'm such a video. I'm such a video maniac. Of what you post, it's just so good, man. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm. I'm literally shit. I'm like freaking out. I've watched every single one of your videos, man. <laughs> That's it's Sick, so man. Good, I appreciate man. it. No, Thanks. I have. So, so much. I, I understand about. Um, about how you try and connect with your fans um, and I know you do de deal with sort of an, an anxiety um, yeah. I, but you've helped, you've helped me with mine big time I, and I, I can't sort of um, show that as much as possible that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> if you ever, if you ever oh. did come to the army, hit me up um, but man that was like the nicest message I felt some like emotion from me come up man no um, it's, yeah it's, Anxiety is like something that's impacted my life in a big way in the past. And in a weird way, it's really cool to hear someone from Ireland say that I've helped them and I appreciate that more than you know. I've commented, I, I understand like, that you can never get to every single one of your fans, but I've commented and, and um, appreciated every single one of your videos, but I'm asking you, please never stop. Don't ever stop. Okay. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna make me emotional here. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, Dan, like, you, like I, I feel like I'm talking to a friend. I'm, not, I, like, I'm shaking, but I'm not chill because you're, you're not cool and you're so. Ah, oh, man, you're just. I, 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 I feel everything that you're, that everything you say, and it's just so genuine. This is a special moment for me. Keep up everything you're doing. Like, you deserve a lot more of what you're, what you're getting. Thanks, yeah, man. You, I appreciate as I said, it. Special for me. Ever come to Ireland? Let me know. Hit me up. See you, bro. Will do. Thanks, man. Whoa! Whoa! What a great moment! Oh my god! Like, I don't know. I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. I think. I didn't know how to take it. I was so shocked. I was expecting this goofy back and forth, but that happened and I'm so thankful it did. And in that moment, I realized my initial goal for social media has been successfully completed. I'll wrap the video up here. I wanted to make this video so that future me can come back and watch this. Also, I want you guys to know that we all have struggles and we all have things about us that we might not like. And sometimes it takes showing that side for it to deliver a gift to us. I was ashamed by my anxiety. I was embarrassed by it. I didn't want to give it a name. I didn't want to give it attention. And I definitely didn't want to be known as the guy with anxiety. And I fought it for years. And when I finally said, look, I have anxiety and I put it out there, a gift was then returned to me in the form of what you just saw. That made it all worth it. If Dan from nine years ago could have seen what happened last night, he would be um, super proud because I was just starting out with YouTube and I was doing a bunch of videos, all different kinds, having fun, putting myself out there. And I did that for years and it was, it was fun and it was great. And the idea was I wanted people to feel like we were friends. As cliche as it sounds, there was a, a sense of community or togetherness that I wanted to create because I know how easy it is to be funny when it's negative. I know how easy it is to make fun of somebody and be intimidating that way. But that's easy and it, and it hurts a lot of people. I'm incredibly thankful for you guys that have watched my stuff for so long that have given credibility to what I say and what I talk about. I could stop tomorrow and I wouldn't look at the past nine years as a waste because I've affected someone in a positive way. Dan from nine years ago, it sucks now. You're going to come out of it way stronger and you're going to help a lot more people with what you're going through right now. Keep holding on. Thank you guys. I love you. Take care. Stay healthy. Stay home. And I'll see you guys in my next video.
See you guys later.